Welcome to Behind the Hype with Cal TV Sports. I'm here with our starting quarterback, Davis Webb. Davis, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me on. Got to start with the Texas game. You led the team to an incredible upset. Texas was ranked 11th in the country through four touchdowns, no interceptions. And Texas is a team you grew up watching. Can you explain that experience for you, that home opener? Yeah, just being my first home game here at yeah. Cal. Um, seeing the student section, seeing the band, seeing the fan base, how much passion they do have for the athletic program here was unbelievable. And it's something I never ever forget. You know, student section, you know, the fans rushing the field after the upset win. It was a really cool memory I'm going to share with my teammates forever. And, uh, you know, obviously watching Texas growing up as a kid, being from Texas, um, idolizing that program for so long, having a chance to play in them for the first time in my college career and then beat them was a pretty cool thing to you know, have and uh, be a part of with my teammates. So I'm very excited about that. And coming into Cal, must have been a little intimidating. You're a graduate transfer. You're following the number one draft pick, Jared Goff. And you're in Berkeley, which couldn't be more opposite to Lubbock, Texas, where you were at Texas Tech. When would you say you first felt welcome here at Cal and on this team? I would say my first workout here. You know, being from Lubbock and being from Dallas is, is complete 180 here compared to Berkeley in the Bay Area. So it was a different environment for me, a different culture shock. I embraced it. I embraced the culture. I embraced everything around me, I embraced the food. You know, I really enjoyed that part of this area. Uh, but my teammates are the best part, honestly. You know, I see the work ethic and the motivation, the drive they do have, which is the culture that was instilled by Coach Dykes and his staff. Um, that's one reason why I chose this school a lot is, you know, to see my teammates and see how much hard work they put in, how much motivation, how much they care about academics and, you know, caring for each other. It was a really cool um, thing that most colleges don't have. Yeah, and clearly you clicked with the team well right away. I mean, after eight weeks of being here, you were voted one of the team captains. How have you embraced that leadership role so far? That was the greatest honor I've ever received in my life. You know, being here for eight weeks and you know having not having everyone on the team understand my whole you know background, my whole right. identity. I just tried to you know you know show my hard work and you know try to get to know everybody on this team personally. You know, hang out with everyone at least once outside of football. Get to know him on and off the field it was one of my goals. I think I did that. And you seem especially close with Chad Hansen on the field. You guys certainly click really well. And off the field, you know, you guys roomed together during away games, whatnot. Was that chemistry there right away, right when you met him? I believe so. You know, he shares pretty similar work ethic abilities that I have. Um, that's one thing I noticed about Chad. He's one of the hardest workers on our team. And, um, the first day I got here in Berkeley, I texted him first and said, hey, what time do you want to throw? Because I, I knew watching spring practice and talking to the coaches that he, they believed he was going to be pretty good this year. And, you know, once we threw our first couple passes, I think we both knew, knew that this was going to be a pretty special year. And I hear Dykes and a lot of your teammates talk about how intensely you study game strategy more than maybe any other player they've seen. And I know your dad's a coach. Maybe down the line, is that something you'd also think about? No doubt. You know, I think my dad and my mom were both great Division One athletes at the college level, and I think that their hard work kind of rubbed off on me. And they, under, they told me at an early age that you know your effort and your toughness is something that you can, you can control. You can't control many other things. So you might as well be good at those two things. Um, so, you know, being a coach's kid growing up, now I want to be after my football career is over, whether that be tomorrow or in 20 years, I want to be a college football coach. You got to start the season at Cal in Australia, which is also such a great experience. And you boldly tweeted out to Margot Robbie, who's from Australia, like, hey, come to the game. Now, sadly, I don't think she was able to attend, but did you get a response or a favorite or anything? A couple of Australians that came to the game told me that she lives in um, Great Britain. And oh, so she bummer. couldn't go to the game. That was their excuse, and um, it was it was you know just something that we watched uh, Suicide Squad as a team, you know, two nights before the game. So you know, I was feeling you know uh, lucky. You know, I could tweet her out. Maybe she'd go to the game, and our teammates would get pretty fired up. But she did not go to the game, so I guess we have to play better. Yeah, you never know. Maybe she'll make a trip out here. And that'd be pretty cool. I mean, that'd be a pretty good goal to have. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being on the show, Davis. We really appreciate it. No, thanks for having me. Go Bears. Go Bears.